Okay. Hi. I'm Mara. And I guess I was somewhat suicidal because my parents sent me to a therapist who then said that I needed to look at things in a more positive light and thus was born the magical healing hat. And I guess a few times a week or something like that I'm supposed to draw a positive word out of it and use it to describe my day. So. Okay. Word of the day is learning. Today I went to school. I went to math, remedial math, and I did some decimals, and gotta love them decimals. I learned decimals today. And, uh, I had a cold, so I was hyped up on cold meds, which made it seem even better. And after that, I went to physics, and, you know, the bell rang, and I'm kind of like, that bell is so freaking obnoxious, you know? Ding! I cannot deal with this. And the teachers, you know, sitting at the front of the class, and you know, here's the thing. We don't need the bell, okay? The teacher lets us know when class is going to start because he goes up to the class and yells, SHUT UP! Thank you, Mr. Buttface, alright? And, you know, of course, while the bell is ringing and the teacher's yelling, there's this kid sitting next to me going, I love me a cheeseburger! I'm like, you could make it as an opera singer, but I don't give a damn about your stupid cheeseburger, okay? And the teacher's at the front of the class, you know, sitting there trying to write motion energy on the board. And just as he does, this kid runs in late and, you know, gets up on the table and starts doing hip thrusts. Which, you know, that would be obnoxious and weird in and of itself, but he's also in an otter suit. I repeat, an otter suit, okay? Doing hip thrusts on top of a table in physics class, yeah. And so this other kid apparently thinks he's being extraordinarily obnoxious and proceeds to go over to the sink, take the little hose off the weird science sink, if you know what I'm talking about, and spray the kid with water. It's like, well, you know, he might have been obnoxious in his dancing, but you're being even more obnoxious in your use of water spraying in a classroom, okay? All right. And, you know, the whole time there's this poor guy over in the corner with his hand in a cast sitting there trying to write motion energy on his paper, sitting there like, I want to take notes, but I can't because my hand is immobilized. And you're sitting there like, wow, that's sad, and you wonder why the school is failing. So you know what my solution to all of this was? I took out my iPod. I put my earbuds in. I turned it on and I watched Doctor Who reruns for the rest of class. And nobody noticed, thank God. And, you know, I'm off in my own happy little world because I'm just staring at David Tennant's face thinking, this man will one day be my husband, and he has amazing hair, and I, it makes me happy. And I know from my experience in watching Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire that he also has an amazing tongue. That awkward little Barty Crouch Jr. licking his lips type deal. Anyway. And that was how I got through the rest of class, and that is why my day was positive. Why my learning day was positive, because I got to watch David Tennant in physics. And that was my day. Yep, that's my life.